Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Lady Audio Podcast. Today's show is brought to you by Crystal Meditations. Please visit ladyaudio.com to download ambient guitar meditations with the frequencies of the planets. Our guest today is Balaj of the Doom Sludge Stoner Metal Band, Vanta. Let's start the show. Hello, Balaj, and welcome to the show. Hi, hello. Hi. Um, so we haven't talked in a very long time, um, and I saw that you shared one of my meditation videos that has the guitar um, meditation, and I was like, okay, what is Balaj up to these days? And I looked it up, and you are in a band called Vanta. And, yes, that's um, correct. It's a, it's a like kind of metal sludge metal kind of um, uh, stoner metal and stuff like that, and it has this really nice like dark sound to it. And I've been getting into metal lately because um, it's been helping me with anxiety and depression and stuff. So that's. Um, why I've been listening to a lot of it and I was like well that's pretty cool and I would like to maybe start up the Lady Audio podcast again and so um, you're my very first guest in a very long time uh, so <laughs> I'm, I'm really um, so I, anyway I wanted to just say that I really like the direction that you're going with the with the band and um, why so is this a little bit different than what you were doing in the past? So what made you decide to go more dark and more metal in, in, in that direction? Okay, so there's this uh, high school friend of mine, Joseph, who was the drummer of Fanta, and he's been asking me when we are going to start a metal band together because we, we, we had a band together in high school. And we had uh, a, a longer break when we didn't play together in a band. And I just thought, yeah, we should play together because that's the best way. So, you know, uh, sometimes I, I have this anxiety and kind of not, uh, luckily, I don't have actual serious depression, but some signs and I had a tough um, period in my life so I wanted to channel the frustration and and, and the, the negative feelings and so that is why I play metal nowadays because it it helps me with the anger so it's it's a channel and this, this is exactly why I, I love this kind of music and I so it's good that you mentioned that you're listening to metal because of these negative feelings. So th this is exactly what we would like to, to address so that other people like us, so they can listen to it and, and get rid of fears and, and things like that by listening to the music. So it's, I, a, it's a... Yeah, I completely yeah. agree. Yeah. So besides you and your friend, what what is your friend's name and who are the other members and who who are the members and what are they playing? Okay, so we are two piece metal band. So I I play the guitar and I sing. So I'm the vocalist as well. And Jose, my high school friend, is the drummer. So we are a small band in terms of population, at least. <laughs> so yeah. And so and so as there are limitations on the music, so I cannot play as many tracks as I would like to. So I cannot handle multiple instruments at the same time. But so the so we are experimenting and trying to maximize the intensity of the sound. So that is why I play a guitar and I channel it to a guitar amplifier and also bass amplifier and I play to different to uh, two amplifiers at the same time, and I tune the guitar very very low, so I cover the low frequencies all in the meantime and the higher frequencies 
so th this is how we handle this. So, and, and it it can work. And so so we have developed a, a sound which which is which is our uh, special sound and and otherwise it's much much easier to work together because we we can think um, the same way and we can write music together so we we are we are completely uh, a whole thing together a whole entity a different entity called Vanta yeah um, so speaking of the guitar I noticed on some of the pictures in the um, on your Twitter feed um, what kind of guitar is that? It's not just your typical six string guitar. No, it's it's actually an eight string. It's an Ibanez eight string. So it has two more strings uh, in the lower frequency direction. Uh, so I actually can uh, uh, tune it as as a bass, as low as a bass, not a five string bass, but it's it. I can tune it to drop C. Uh, at the bass frequency, so it's it's really really low, and it it sounds really awesome. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that because you you are covering you know the low end with that guitar, so that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. So, who helps with the recording of your music? Well, we are we are totally recording it DIY, so. Uh, and by, by the way, this is the way I um, write music. So I just have an idea and I sit, I just turn on my computer and plug the guitar in and, and I re record my ideas. I have a small um, software and a small audio card and that sits and, and I just record the guitar. And uh, when I have some ideas about the vocals, I just record the vocals so basically it's it's done by us completely wow that's really good because you guys are getting a really great sound so you're doing something right that's for sure um thanks <laughs> it's totally from instinct by the way yeah <laughs> um and in the song and i'm not sure how to pronounce this but is it a rebos yeah, I actually never said that before, so I okay. don't know how to pronounce this properly. <laughs> because, I know you know, yeah, the lyrics, the lyrics do not contain the title of the song, actually. Right. Yeah. But the guitar lead towards the end of that song is is pretty badass. I really like that. And um, so um, I noticed on um, online there was a video of you practicing that lead. Was that the actual take? Or was that just you practicing to record the lead? Um, I guess it was the actual take, yeah. Wow, that's cool. That's cool. I want to listen to it again now, <laughs> just so I can see it. Okay, he's actually playing it. He's tracking it right now. That's cool. So what is the song about, Erebos? Well... This song is actually about addiction.
I have some personal experience with addiction and I wanted to paint a picture of how that feels. You know, it's, as I say in the lyrics, so it's a winter in the belly of a snake. So it's kind of a hard thing to experience. Um, and I know that a lot of people around me have some kind of addiction. So um, I just wanted to sing a song about this because I know um, a lot of us uh, can feel and know what this feeling is about. So it's it's not an easy thing to live with. Mm -mm. Yeah, definitely. Well, I'm glad you're getting it out with the music, that's for sure. So um, who did the cover art for for the single? Okay, Jezu does our cover arts because he is a graphic designer and he is also a painter so he can do all of these things and uh, people usually love what he does so he does the all our visual stuff you know the what what uh, all all our covers uh, was done by him and uh, i guess it always will be done by him so he will paint them um I don't know, is the camera on because I can show you another one? Yeah. So it's so. a real it's a real painting then. Oh, and this one's a real painting too. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this this was painted on oil and nice. it was digitalized to 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 be able to multiply. So produce him in multiple. Yeah. So we did this cassette and he just did an oil painting and this uh, become the cover of this split yeah that's really cool we have a um craig who's in my band my cats um he's also an artist and he does um all of pretty much all of the artwork for our album covers too and our latest release which is uh, i want my heart um, he did the painting for that one too. So it's always really cool to m match up the artwork with the music to try to make it, uh, I don't know. It seems like the, um, the cover for Arebo, Arebos, I'm, I'm going to have to figure out how to pronounce that, but, but the cover <laughs> art really matches the song really well. So nice job on that. Um, for the song uh, New Middle Ages, um, when I was listening to that, <clears throat> I was listening to it um, with the headphones and then I was listening to it through the speakers and I noticed that um, there's a little bit of a pump with the compression and usually in songs like I'll get kind of like, oh, I wish they hadn't done that. But in this, in that particular song, it really suits suits it really well it uh, brings out this kind of like a different type of a, an aggression so I just wanted to um, let you know about that or like just um, that you did a really nice job with the mix on that song for sure um, and Thank then you. for for um, Vanta and the the name Vanta I looked up what what it stands for, and it stands for vertically aligned nanotube arrays. So, what can you tell us about this scientific term, and what does it mean? Okay, so um, it's a fun fact about me. So, I worked in uh, the field of science in my past and actually I was working in nanotechnology so there are some kind of materials made of carbon and these are so from carbon you can create nanotubes which look like so they are they are small rods which are a few nanometers in diameter but uh, in length they can be multiple micrometers so uh, micrometer is a millionth 
of a meter, if I'm not mistaken, and a nanometer is a billionth. So it's really, really uh, small in size. Um, it, uh, so these can fit in, in a human cell, I guess. Um, and usually they are trying to utilize these materials in, in our internet connection started to drop out right here, but Vanta, Vanta Black is used in different applications like cameras, telescopes, and solar panels. Application, you know, like uh, solar panels because they absorb uh, so much light, and this this is why. So, but but this Vanta material, I guess. So I don't know anything. Uh, about its uh, usage in other ways. So I don't know if they are using you know, or some. They just realized that this material is so black. So if you put a normal black thing like like my pullover, and you put a, beside the, you put a, an object from from this winter black material, it will <laughs> will be much 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 darker and and. So this normal black would appear as not really black anymore. So it's 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 so it's just so dark. You you just look at it. You can't believe what you see because you see you see a complete empty nothing, like a black. Yeah, you know, if you were staring at a black hole, it it looks like that. Um, and so uh, and uh, as far as I I know, so it's a it's a word word play uh, as well because uh, it's. It's a fourth acronym. So Vanta, in some languages, it refers to uh, something missing. So, you know, the emptiness or something like that. So Vanta Black, or just nanotechnology in in general, um, is is a subject that you know we can write a lot of songs about. <laughs> that's for sure. Um, but one thing I noticed when I read online was that you have to grow nanotubes. Now, what does that mean, grow? How can you grow nanotechnology? What, what is that? Okay, so um, if, I, if I want to put this very, very in my own words, so, you know, there's, a, there's just laws that materials obey and physical processes obey. And you just uh, put together uh, the ingredients. You can imagine it that way. And if you uh, adjust the parameters of, of a system, of a material system, the material just... Um, uh, does the trick spontaneously. So I, I guess it is done by some electrochemistry and it's, in, it's kind of a substrate, you know, when, when there are these animals uh, which have a um, shell around them and it's, it's something similar. So you have a substrate um, and it just grows spontaneously. Uh, um, and you only, the only thing you have to do is provide the the environment for these materials to grow. So it's not like a it's, it's not like a, uh, an actual garden, but something like that. Wow, that's some pretty trippy stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> uh, what does the future look like for Vanta? Uh, when is your next release going to be coming out? Our next song is going to be published on the 24th of March, so one week from now. Um, and in this year, we are going to publish some more. Uh, it is a question whether it is going to be multiple singles or EPs. We have two songs two collaboration songs which we would like to publish together. So we, we have teamed up with some friends and one song is with a, a cello player. 
Um, and so it's so we are inviting guest musicians, and so they can add something very, very different to the music compared to what we usually do. And the other one is the uh, is another version of our older song. Uh, I'm the ocean. And, oh, sorry, you broke up there. What what was that? It was there called was what? this guy who the song. You kind you mean of broke in up the there. Song. Yeah, what's the name of the song yeah. again? I am the ocean. Oh, I am the ocean. Okay. So, uh, there, there's a friend of ours who is going to play violin and and theremin in that song, and it's going to be an, an instrument, instrumental version of that song. And so, these two, we are, we would like to publish together because it's the same concept. You know, it's a collaboration with strings and and such. So. This is one of our plans, and we have, still we have uh, multiple songs in the pipeline. So we are recording continuously and collecting ideas, and we need to plan uh, how and when these are going to be released. But uh, I guess this year is going to be a, a good year and a productive year for us. Cool, cool. And um, how about live shows? Um, do you think you'll be performing more live shows? Definitely, yes, yes. Currently, um, we are <laughs> in this very moment. We are we are organizing uh, shows for the spring. Uh, we are also planning something for the summer, uh, a small mini tour for the summer. So yeah, yeah, uh, we we love to play live. So we make efforts to have more and more live shows, as many as possible. Cool. Cool. And I also read that you're in another band called International Beer Pong League. What can you tell me about that band? Uh, just a small correction. It's Irrational. Irrational. Irrational yeah. Beer Pong League. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> irrational, irrational Beer Pong League. What can you tell me about that band? Okay, so... Uh, um, it's a punk rock band, um, and it's also a small band, and um, uh, we are playing in it with, with Jose, the drummer of Venta, and we, we have invited one of my old musician friends who is going to play uh, double bass in a rockabilly style. Okay. Um, so it's... It's it's punk rock. It's much much easier and and, and easy listening and, yeah. and a happier happier thing compared to uh, what Venta is doing. Yeah. But, but I also have this this side, so it's a childish and um, I I have a punk rocker inside. So. Yeah. Well, so I think we all have a punk rocker inside, and I think we all need to embrace that. <laughs> Um, so, um, like I was mentioning at the beginning of our conversation, I am fairly new to the metal scene. Um, what bands would you recommend for me to listen to? Okay. <laughs> it depends, really, uh, what, what kind of metal. So, what do you prefer? I, I could go on and, li and um, start naming a lot of bands because I have a lot of love, love favorites. Um, which, or what came more, more melodic or just something that that sounds like a bulldozer or <laughs> <laughs> you, you, pref you prefer, you know, like the stoner side and so. Um, well, let's see. Well, I was asking last night because I, I was looking online, but I couldn't really find anything. I guess kind of more stoner metal or more maybe psychedelic. Is there, is there any metal that kind of has a psychedelic um, twist to it? Yeah, so I could recommend, I, I think the name of the band is The Black Angels. The Black Angels. Um, so it's like a psychedelic rock. It's not, not, not the heaviest kind of 
metal. So it's, it's rather a rock, but it's psychedelic and it's it's really cool, I guess. I really like them. It's it's like they from, they have the feeling of a seventies, you know, a psychedelic one, but the sound is is more modern. Okay, cool. I'll check them out. Um, what what bands do you like? What bands do you listen to? Okay, so my personal favorite is is always changing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but. <laughs> But what I, I I always what I always like is a band called Meshuga. Uh, they are Swedish and it's kind of a jazz metal, so it's uh, it's really progressive. Not not too many melodies, but you know it's it's really crazy. So hence the name. <laughs> okay. Meshuga, cool. I'm gonna just check them out too. Um, how about? Any are there any metal bands that have like um, that you like with female musicians? Not necessarily a singer, but just like female musicians in metal bands. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, Arch Enemy, I guess it's the uh, so it's it's really heavy. And uh, when I was listening to it, they had uh, a female vocalist, and she was screaming like hell so it's really really aggressive vocals and it was done by uh, a female uh, vocalist and it was it's really it's really cool yeah <laughs> the one example but of course yeah and and women who play metal bands are also really cool <laughs> yeah i agree i agree i think i think they're embracing that part of themselves <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything that you would like to add? Well, let's see. <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, you know, uh, I would. So, if someone is interested in what we do, I first I would recommend to check us out at at Bandcamp because we usually uh, post our songs there. So. Basically, you can find uh, all the things we do uh, on Bandcamp. So it's venta000.bandcamp.com, and we are there. Cool. If anyone's interested. <laughs> I think they will be. I think they will be. Um, I, I remember I did have another question. I wanted to ask you, do you think you'll be creating any videos for your music? Yes, we are planning to. Uh, and uh, so th there's a song I mentioned we are doing with a, with a cello player. Um, I cannot tell you the title because it's secret, but that's a song we would like to have a, a video because it's we feel that it's it's really strong and it deserves some video of this, which is uh, an unusual one. So that's what we are planning for this year. One video at least, if we can afford and we can organize and then we can do more we will do more that's cool uh, that's cool so i will uh, put the link to your band camp in the show notes and um, once again that is vanta000.bandcamp.com and yeah. um and that's where people can go to listen to your music and to buy your music and support you and hopefully we can get you a bunch of sales so that you can get the video done and uh, start recording more because it you got a really nice sound and I'm really glad you're going in this direction I think it suits it suits you really well uh, your voice and everything too so um, yeah thank you so much for your music and thank you for coming on the show thanks for inviting us